Have you ever wondered what happens if you eat nothing for three days? As intriguing as it may sound, this isn't a call to action, but a fascinating exploration of how our bodies react to three days of fasting. This journey takes us deep into the science of metabolism, the body's resourcefulness, and its survival instincts. Understanding the physical responses can provide insights into the human body's remarkable resilience and adaptability. So, are you ready to dive into the science of it all? Scene script. First, we need to understand the basics of how our body processes food. Picture your body as a complex, well-oiled machine. Every machine needs fuel, and for us that fuel comes from the food we eat. This food is packed with energy, measured in units called calories. Now, our body is quite the expert when it comes to breaking down food into these calories, a process we call metabolism. Imagine you're enjoying a hearty breakfast. Your body, like a factory, gets to work. It breaks down the proteins, fats, and carbohydrates from your meal into smaller units. These units or calories are then distributed throughout the body, powering everything from your thoughts to your toe wiggles. But what happens when you have more calories than your body needs? Well, your body, the clever machine that it is, doesn't let it go to waste. It stores this excess energy in the form of fat, tucked away for a rainy day. This is why, if you consistently consume more calories than your body burns, you may gain weight. But the opposite is also true. If you consume fewer calories than your body burns, it needs to find energy elsewhere. It turns to these fat reserves, breaking them down to keep the machine running. So when we stop eating, our body has to find a new source of energy. But how does it do that? Let's delve deeper into that in our next scene. Now let's look at what happens in the first 24 hours without food. Your body is a well-oiled machine, always ready to adapt to changes. The first thing it does when you stop eating is to burn through the glycogen stores in your liver. Glycogen is a form of sugar that your body uses for quick energy and most people have enough stored away to fuel about a day's worth of activity. By the time you hit the 12-hour mark most of those glycogen stores have been depleted. This is when your body kicks into survival mode, and things start to get interesting. First up, the hunger pangs. Your stomach is used to a certain feeding schedule. And when it doesn't get what it expects, it sends signals to your brain in the form of hunger pangs. But these are temporary. If you can ride out the waves of hunger, they'll usually subside after a while. But it's not just about the physical changes. There's also a mental aspect of fasting. You might find yourself feeling a bit moody or irritable as your body adjusts to the lack of food. This is completely normal. Your brain is used to getting a steady supply of glucose, and when that supply is disrupted, it can affect your mood. However, it's important to note that these changes aren't necessarily bad. In fact, fasting can have some surprising benefits. When your body burns through its glycogen stores, it switches to burning fat for energy. This can lead to weight loss, improved metabolic health, and even increased longevity. But remember, everyone's body is different. What works for one person might not work for another. So if you're considering a fast, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional first. But that's just the first day. Things get even more interesting as we move into day two. So what happens on the second day without food? As the sun rises on the second day, your body is starting to realize that the regular influx of food it's used to isn't coming. It's time to switch gears. Your body begins a process known as ketosis which is a metabolic state where your body starts to burn fat for energy instead of carbohydrates from food. It's like a car switching from petrol to battery power. Now this isn't a seamless transition. Your body has been relying on carbohydrates for energy for as long as it's been getting fed, which for most of us is our entire lives. It's a bit like asking a fish to start breathing air. There's going to be some discomfort involved. You may start to feel fatigue setting in. Your body is working hard to adapt to this new energy source and it's a bit like learning a new language. It takes a lot of mental and physical energy. At the same time, you might also start to experience dizziness. This is due to the drop in blood sugar levels and blood pressure that comes with fasting. But perhaps the most noticeable effect is brain fog. Your brain is a heavy energy consumer using up to 20% of your body's energy. In the absence of its preferred energy source, glucose, it has to adapt to using ketones, which are produced during ketosis. This can lead to a lack of concentration, forgetfulness, and a feeling of being in a fog. It's important to remember that these side effects are temporary. As your body becomes more efficient at using fat for energy, these symptoms will lessen. However, it's also crucial to note that everyone's experience with fasting is unique. What one person experiences may not be the same for another. By the end of the second day, your body is essentially running on fat. But what happens next? 
Now we're moving into the third day without food, and this is where things get really interesting. As we navigate through this day, the body is entering a deeper state of ketosis. This means it's burning fat for energy more than ever before. It's like your body has switched from a gas-powered car to an electric one, and it's now running on stored fat rather than quick easy glucose. But why does this happen? Well, without any new carbs to turn into glucose, your body has no choice but to dive into its reserves. It's a survival mechanism, a way to keep the engine running when fuel is scarce. Simultaneously, your body might also start a process called autophagy. This is a sort of cellular housekeeping where the body cleans out damaged cells, replacing them with new ones. It's like a renovation project at the cellular level, potentially reducing the risk of cellular dysfunction and diseases. But let's not sugarcoat it. The third day of fasting can be tough. Your body is adjusting to a new energy source and you might feel a bit sluggish. Some people also report feeling cold, as the body conserves energy by lowering the metabolic rate. And this brings us to an important point. The potential risks and dangers of prolonged fasting. It's crucial to remember that while fasting can have benefits, it's not for everyone. If you have underlying health conditions, especially related to blood sugar or heart health, fasting could be risky. It's always essential to consult with a healthcare professional before embarking on a fasting journey. Moreover, fasting doesn't mean you should ignore your body's signals. If you're feeling unwell, it's a sign that you might need to break your fast. Listen to your body, it knows what it needs. So, after three days without food, your body has undergone some significant changes. But what does all this mean? Well, that's a question we'll delve into in the next scene. Until then, remember that health is a journey, not a destination, and every step you take is a step towards a healthier you. Let's wrap up what we've learned about fasting for three days. We dove deep into the fascinating mechanics of our bodies, exploring the stages of metabolism and how our system responds when deprived of food for 72 hours. In the first 24 hours, our bodies start to use the stored glucose as fuel causing us to feel a little low on energy but still functional. As we transition into the second day, our bodies enter a state of ketosis, burning fat for energy. This is where we might start to feel lightheaded and might experience mood swings. By the third day, our bodies have fully adapted to using fat as the primary source of energy. It's important to note, however, that this doesn't mean it's a comfortable experience. Fatigue, dizziness, and a decrease in cognitive function are common as the body preserves energy for vital functions. While fasting for three days can have some benefits like jump-starting weight loss and detoxification, it's not something to be taken lightly. It's a significant shock to the system, and not everyone may respond in the same way. Some might experience serious health complications, while others may feel energized and revitalized. The information we've discussed today is not meant to encourage you to fast, but to educate you on the body's responses when food is scarce. It's a testament to the incredible resilience and adaptability of our bodies. But let's be clear, fasting should never be used as a quick fix for weight loss or other health issues. It should be seen as a tool to enhance your understanding of your body and its needs, not as a solution to your problems. Remember, before you consider any drastic changes to your diet, always consult with a healthcare professional. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing content.